Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Disney vlog series. I am so, so excited that I'm finally getting to go on a Disney trip. Uh, this trip is obviously quite different to my usual Disney trips. Um, so you'll probably already know from the thumbnail and the title and everything, but today I am heading on a Disney cruise ship. I'm going on the Disney Magic. I've been on one cruise ship before, it was on the Dream and it was in the Bahamas. Uh, this is quite different. Uh, I'm actually going down to Southampton and uh, we're gonna go on a Disney cruise staycation trip, which sounds like so much fun. I have honestly, been waiting so long for a bit of a Disney fix. I'm a massive Disney fan. Um, welcome by the way if you are new to my channel and this is your first time um, coming to watch one of my vlogs. Like I say I'm a massive Disney fan. I've loved the parks for years and years long before vlogging was even a thing. <laughs> Me and my family have always just had a special place in our hearts for Disney trips and um, yeah this trip is so unique and I'm so excited for it. We are actually essentially the test cruise, right? So we are the first people to get on a UK Disney cruise, actually a worldwide, I think, Disney cruise. This is the very first one. And um, this is, a, yeah, a test cruise. So we are going to be the very first people to do this UK staycation and also the first people to do a post great unpleasantness, <laughs> let's not mention the C word, um, trip on a Disney cruise ship. So it's just so exciting, but also like, I don't, I'm a bit anxious because <laughs> we don't know what it's going to be like. Um, I've been trying to, you know, keep up to date on any information that Disney Cruise Line have released. I think we're very prepared. We've submitted our um, vaccination proof in advance. That's been approved. We've checked in. We've got an early boarding time, which is all very exciting. And I am just about to hop in a taxi. I'm going to get a taxi to the tube station and then get a tube into Waterloo. Uh, the weather is absolutely shocking. <laughs> It's literally been the worst couple of weeks of weather I think we've ever had in the summer. Like, it's awful. And it's July. This is so bad. It's basically cloudy and rainy and just gross. So um, it was a struggle to pack, to be honest, for this trip uh, because it's going to be raining and not sunny. But anyway, that's a whole other palaver. Let's get cracking with this Disney cruise vlog series. I'm so excited for you guys to come along and join with me. My lovely friend Hannah um, is going to be there as well. And also like just to make sure it's super clear, um, this is a cruise that Disney employees were invited on and then they could bring friends and family and I fall into that friends and family category. So it's not sponsored by, associated with or anything to do with Disney. I just got very lucky that I have a very good friend that was able to uh, invite me along. So, right guys, I better get going. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> Uh, I will of course take you along with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you are around for the rest of this vlog series. And of course, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. It's been a long, hard season. I'm feeling weary to my bones. I guess that's my reason. I packed my bags and now I'm gone Somewhere Between the sun and the deep blue sea That's Tend and red Flat out on a beach bed That's So we have just arrived at Southampton Central Station uh, We're gonna get a taxi down to the port it's a very short journey, so it's maybe like five quid for the taxi. Uh, but we've just noticed, right? There's, and here's Hannah. <laughs> we've just noticed, like, we have the biggest case. <laughs> Everybody has like cabin cases. And me and Hannah, we are like American style, like full size cases, not even just a medium size case. We Mine's have like, bottles of water. We do have water. That's yeah, why. we're staying hydrated. That's the only reason why our cases are five times the size of everyone else. Okay, so we're just in the taxi. We were a bit nervous. <laughs> That are two giant cases aren't gonna fit. Oh, can you see it? Oh my god, that's the ship! Oh my camera turned off. Oh, I don't think you can see okay, it. Okay, we can see the ship. <laughs> no, that is definitely walkable, but it not, is walkable. not with a case. Perhaps not ideal. So we had a we had a slight detour because I put in the wrong port. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we're uh, we're coming into the right port now, and uh, the cruise ship's gonna be up on the left. So. Um, Gate number eight is what it says on the outside, but uh, yeah, 
this is the right side. Oh, dock gate eight is what it says on the front here. Um, so I assume this is where it's gonna be. But yeah, we went to the to one that was on the far side. So we were wondering why the ship was getting further away. Uh, but that's my fault. I put it wrong in the Uber thing. Oh look, they have like that. Look at that big play thing on the top of that ship. There's a giraffe and everything. This cruise ship is huge. Like this is bigger than the Magic. There she is, the Disney Magic. Oh my god. There's plenty of veranda rooms on that cruise ship. It's <laughs> massive. It is huge, isn't it? That's even bigger, I think, than like the dream and fantasy. Yeah, what the big Disney Okay, so apparently we're in a brand new cruise terminal, which is so exciting. And um, we also actually went to the wrong place because we went to the Royal Caribbean <laughs> terminal, but no, we are coming now to the right terminal. Third time lucky. Um, yeah, we're getting a tour of the port. Um, our lovely Uber driver has been really, really nice to us. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're uh, apparently going to a brand new terminal. This is like the first day it's open, I think. Um, which is so exciting. I thought it was going to be some sort of like makeshift. I don't know why I thought that. What, a tent or something? A little <laughs> gazebo. I think because like, I guess, yeah, I just thought it, would, it wouldn't it would be this nice. But it's really nice. We have got inside, yeah. Might not be finished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might be still scaffold. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so we've just come around the side just to get a bit of a closer look at the ship. Oh my God, so exciting. Uh, there isn't really a good photo opportunity, unfortunately. Uh, but we. Oh my god, yes, look! Someone's waving at us from the ship! <laughs> they tell us to come on board. We're coming! <laughs> So our taxi just dropped us off over in this little blue area here and then we just came to this little desk and dropped our luggage off and then they take the luggage in through here and then we go around in the entrance around to the front, to the Horizon Terminal. Uh, apparently it isn't the first day that it's open but it's like very, very new. <laughs> they gave us our luggage tags here but um, I'm not sure if that's just for this cruise I think ordinarily you would get them delivered so maybe for the later cruises that'll happen but for us today they just asked us our stateroom number and then they gave us our tags to put on our luggage. Okay so we're just queuing in this little short line here and then it looks like we'll enter in from the side. Now this is obviously the main entrance here. This is the Horizon Cruise Terminal so I don't know maybe normally you guys will come in through this entrance but like I say today we're going Sort of around the side and then we're going to be let in from the side. Right, so in the queue they have these little things that you can scan. Now this links back to um, the same website that we did our upload of our proof of vaccine. So you just log into your profile and have that ready to go. So I've got mine open and that shows them that they've verified my um, vaccine already. Guys, look, they have these little like Disney Cruise Line suitcases for where you come to stand. It's so cute. So we're in this sort of like little windy queue right now. I've got my um, check-in form here. So it says our arrival time, 12.45 to 1. Okay, we have finally been released from the COVID test area. Um, there were some issues. <laughs> it took a little while. <laughs> um, but we're here now, so all good, all good. Okay, so we've just come through the security area. It's not like airport security. You don't have to take anything out of your bags or anything, but you do just like take your jacket off and put your bag through and stuff. So after security then you come up to this boarding area uh, and then we literally just logged into the navigator app and made sure we could see our stateroom and then here we go and look it says up on the screen here oh we just missed it oh yeah staterooms will be ready at 4 p.m so looks like we're about to board we're coming around oh we get to like walk alongside the ship It did say 4 p.m. but it looks like some people have theirs already. Oh, I'm so excited! So guys, it's about 3 p.m. now and we're getting on the cruise ship. Here we go! Would you like to be introduced as Karen and Hannah? Karen and Hannah. Yes, yes please. Thank Disney you. Magic, please welcome on board. Karen and Hannah. Hello. 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 Hello.
So the way they're working the assembly drill at the moment is that you actually just go to your assembly drill station and then you use your app to scan like a QR code thing and then they check off the fact that you've actually come and come to your assembly point. So, and then obviously they just give you a little chat about, you know, some of the safety uh, considerations, but yeah, it's obviously a lot, I don't know, easier and obviously there's more social distancing and everything. And if any of you guys have been on a cruise before, you'll know like this part is normally not um, the best part, but uh, it's actually really, really good how they've done it now. So it's very chill, you just come up, check in um, at your designated spot. And yeah, you can see the beautiful, beautiful weather that we're having right now in Southampton. <laughs> we also just got our dining rotation. So we're in Lumiere's tonight, uh, Animators Palace tomorrow, and then uh, Rapunzel's for breakfast, which is exactly what we wanted. This is surreal. So we're going up to Cabana's. <gasps> oh my God, it's so cool. <laughs> Look at that. This feels so surreal, doesn't it? Definitely. Ooh, Definitely. we're going through the ceiling. No, we're not. <laughs> So we're just walking by the pool. Um, we oh, reached the, the sun's out. Yeah, the sun is out. Hop in, Hannah. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna head over towards Cabanas, but yeah, we're just going by the big screen. Honestly, I've no idea if there's gonna be a sail away party or what's happening. So. You know? And then this is for the line for you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we'll get matter of station. Yes, So we decided to just get some sweet treats. Uh, I got an Oreo cheesecake. Oh, that's all it is. <laughs> it's an Oreo cheesecake. And uh, this pecan and day cake thing. Okay, so we're kind of doing it backwards. <laughs> I've eaten my cheesecake and then we realized we actually haven't got dinner for ages. So we decided to get some chicken nuggets and chips. And yeah, just got some ketchup. And I also got a Coke and Zero. Between the sun and the deep blue sea. leaving cabanas i think it's just about to close down now after lunch and yeah we're gonna go explore the ship uh, we really don't have much of a plan we're just gonna walk around oh that's so cute <laughs> we're just gonna walk around and see what we find okay so we're just walking up onto the top deck <gasps> it's super breezy <laughs> So uh, there's the aqueduct. Oh, you're right, it is Sandy Keir. The slide, you can see the. It's a bit windy. <laughs> um, we just had so much fun trying to do a little photo shoot. Uh, like, literally, we just tried to get a few photos on our phones in front of the Mickey head. <laughs> We were getting blown all over the place. It was gas. Yeah, then one of the cast members came over and he was like, there's actually a much better picture on the other side. So then we came around and it was way better. So yeah, we got a couple of pictures, which is nice. We wanted to get them now before we start moving because it's already like super windy. So I imagine it's going to be even more so out at sea. But yeah, we uh, have just had a bit of an explore on the top deck. Um, we were watching some people coming down the slide. And I think now we might head around, maybe check out the adult area to see what that's like. So this is the slide that's in the kids area, uh, which we walked by earlier. And then you can see up ahead that is the aqueduct, which is obviously a little bit more extreme. I would like to give it a go. 
<laughs> so I'll need to do that. I think Hannah might be off tonight though. She uh, wasn't so keen on the big drop slide. Uh, but we're just continuing to walk along the deck and we'll just uh, take it all in. There's really nobody out on top deck. I mean, maybe we're just a bit crazy for being out when it's <laughs> so windy, well, but uh, <laughs> give it a good go. We're just making our way down the hallway looking for our rooms. We have a separate room each actually. Uh, we're not too sure how we get in and out of our rooms just yet. And um, because we didn't get given cards like we did before. Oh look some people have their magnets up, that's so cute. I didn't bring any magnets this time. Oh I can definitely see our massive cases, Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, and they've just left a little envelope. Look. Oh. Each of our things. Oh. Stay room. Oh, no, this is your one. Oh, we. Oh, no, this yeah, is oh, my God. We keep getting our rings on. Well, our bags are mixed up. So. Right. That's mine. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. So here we go. Room 70. 70. Let's open it. So here we are guys, we're inside the state room. Oh my God. I can't believe I have this whole room to myself. <laughs> so I've got um, the double bed here. Uh, I've actually got a veranda room, which is so, so exciting. Uh, and then over here we've got the sofa, which folds out into a bed. Um, it's quite big actually. It's a really, like that looks like a full size bed to me. Yeah, here we've got the clock and then that's got some usb ports in it which is super handy and a lovely little bedside locker yeah you can see there's some space in there there's some plug sockets just underneath and these are either american or european plug sockets uh, so you will need adapters if you're traveling from the uk and they've got this cute lamp look <laughs> I actually, this is honestly so surreal guys. I can't believe I'm here and doing a room tour of a Disney room. I'm so excited. Uh, so yeah, over the other side then of the bed. Oh, we're getting an announcement. <laughs> so that announcement was just a reminder that they're doing the safety briefing in like 15 minutes. Um, but unlike on previous trips, you don't have to go to your assembly station. What you actually do is just basically stay wherever you are and listen to the briefing and they'll stop anything that cast members are doing in terms of service, like serving food and whatever. Um, so yeah, so we will just get to, I guess, stay in our stateroom if that's what we decide to do. And then you just have to listen in to the briefing. Like I said earlier, I don't know if you could hear me very well because we were outside. Um, you get taken to your assembly point when you board. I'm sorry, I feel like I've got an eyelash in my eye. I think I got it. <laughs> so yeah, like I said before, uh, they'll take you to your assembly station when you get on the ship and they just show it to you and basically check you in to say that you've seen your assembly point but you don't actually have to listen to the safety briefing there which is so handy. And also they said if your kids or um, you know any of teens or whatever are in any of the areas, like the kids kind of club areas, uh, you don't have to retrieve your kids for the briefing. They will just stay where they are and listen to it from there so moving on with the tour on this side then we have just the light light switch and the phone and then another um charging uh plug socket under there and then pretty much the same drawer as well and then there's another switch over here i'm not actually sure what that is is that a light switch i think maybe <laughs> um and then you have the thermostat here uh which you can obviously put up or down uh, it's Jane all the way right now, which is perfect for me because <laughs> I like it nice and cool. There is a full length mirror. So, hey guys, howdy. <laughs> uh, there's a full length mirror here. You can see I've just dumped my bag and stuff on the bed. And then, um, so we came in the door just here on the left hand side. There is a huge cupboard. So we'll just open that up. 
Uh, you can see that's where the life vests are. There's loads of hanging space, like double hanging space. Space to put your case, you can get it out of the way. Safe, you've got your laundry bag there as well, and then some extra shelves. And then over right beside that, you've got two glasses, and um, then you've got these drawers. Now, they kind of go from like double drawers, single drawer, and then I think it repeats again, double drawer, single drawer down, and some cute artwork as well of uh, Walt and Lily on a cruise ship. That's so cute. Hold a Mickey Mouse. That's such a lovely picture. Um, but back over by the entrance then, you've got some switches. So you've got entrance light, cabin light, and toilet light. And then you've got like all the safety information on the back of the door. Then inside here, oh, we've got the bathroom. So this is sort of one of two, but this is where your toilet is. And then you have your little sink area. Nice little handy place to put some cosmetics and stuff. Lights either side of the mirror. And then you've got your hair dryer here as well. Now we may actually have a second hair dryer. I'll have to have a check, but this also has a shave-in port as well. So you can plug in your little shave-in chargers. And look, oh, H2O sea salt, some hand soap. That is lovely. Um, I love the H2O sea salt range it just reminds me of Disney World I love it so much uh, but it just looks so nice in here it's really really nice and then you've got this little storage area as well which is super handy and some Disney Cruise Line towels perfect next room over then is the shower room but it also has a sink area so it's super handy oh my god I just spotted this <gasps> I've definitely never seen this before. This little makeup cloth, how cute is that? And then um, we've got, again, the sea salt range, but it's body lotion. Oh, I am definitely using this. Love their body lotion. And uh, some little towels, as well as some bigger towels over this side on the door, or uh, behind the door, sorry. And then, um, yeah, inside the shower, we've got a nice big shower. Um, quite a small bath. <laughs> I don't know if anyone uh, actually uses this for a bath, but you know, it obviously works as one. I guess if you have kids and stuff, you could have them have a bath in there as well. You've got just your controls for the shower there too. Really cute shower curtain with Mickey on it as well. And then you've got like a thicker kind of curtain to go around that also. But yeah, really cute. I'm so excited about this makeup cloth. I think that's new. Um, that's a really nice touch. Handy tip is you can actually store things under your bed if you want to chuck your case under there and actually use the closet space for something else. Really love the throw that you have on the bed. It's super, super cute. Um, I wish I could actually have this at home. I think it's really nice. And then the covers you'll see as well also have Mickey's and kind of like the cruise line wave same detail up on the pillowcases as well oh so nice so unlike the dream uh, you don't have this sort of chest that is a storage trunk and instead you have this cute coffee table uh, which is really nice and uh, we've got the cruise tv on here it's kind of playing a little bit of music in the background up here then we have some more storage there's honestly loads of storage for such a small you know obviously the the cruise cabins are going to be relatively small compared to hotel room but they've got such great storage better than some of the hotel rooms i've stayed at then in here we have our little um door hanger door tag and then just some information as well oh no way i did get my <laughs> Castaway Club silver bag. Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't know if I'd get this or not, given that this is a test cruise. But yeah, so look, I got my lanyard and my backpack. So this, because this is my second cruise, and um, I'm now a silver Castaway Club member, and I've got my backpack. Oh, I'm so excited for that. <laughs> I genuinely didn't think I would get this on this trip. So yeah, I'm super happy about that. That is so exciting. Over here then, we just have some more drawers. Again, they do that sort of like double single <laughs> pattern all the way down, which is handy. So you've got some different sizes. And then there's a little stool here, which will also be handy for getting ready. Um, over this side then, more drawers. Oh, and there it is. There is the proper hair dryer. I think this is a much better hair dryer than the one that's on the wall in the bathroom. And what is this then? Oh, a nice heat pad then as well if you're using some hair straighteners or curlers. In this door then, you find the fridge. So uh, we didn't bring alcohol because we've actually booked <laughs> like a champagne tasting today and mixology tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so we decided not to bring the alcohol, but I do have some bottles of water that'll go in there. 
Got some really nice artwork then just above the sofa bed. A dream is a wish your heart makes. And then you've also got these curtains that you can use to separate these two areas. So if you have got somebody sleeping here and here, or you're just both in um, the stateroom together and one of you is getting changed, that's what me and Rachel use them for. Um, yeah, super handy. And then you've got the same curtains on this side, obviously across your doors, out your balcony. So let's step on, out onto the veranda. <gasps> Oh, I'm so excited. I actually can't believe we got veranda rooms. <laughs> Here we go. It's a decent sized balcony, two chairs, nice little table in the middle and then beautiful view. Let's see, we have not set sail yet. Uh, we're just about to do the safety briefing and then we will set off. But oh, it's so nice. Uh, not the weather, obviously. <laughs> the room <laughs> right let's get back inside so guys that is the room i actually thought we were moving um but i think it was a false alarm i think they might have i don't know unhooked us or whatever <laughs> definitely not the right technical terms uh but yeah both me and hannah were feeling a bit weird um but we don't seem to actually be moving so i don't know maybe they've just like what you call the thing that they tie it to the port with do they do that with big cruise ships <laughs> I think they do, don't they? Um, yeah, but anyway, I don't think we're tied to the port anymore. <laughs> I am honestly so excited for the rest of this trip. I think I'm going to leave this part of the vlog here because I feel like I've done a lot of filming today <laughs> already. And then we'll have part two where um, we go and enjoy the rest of the ship. We have the sail away. Uh, there is not a sail away party as such, uh, but they did just announce that we will be sailing away probably about quarter past six. So a bit behind schedule, but you know, that's to be expected. Uh, obviously, you know, this is the test cruise. So, you know, they're still trying to fine tune some bits and bobs. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you all in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys are planned to go on any sort of Disney cruise or if you've got any Disney trips booked and hopefully this vlog is starting to get you guys excited. Cause I know for me, like I found it quite difficult to watch Disney content over the last year and a half when there's been no opportunity for, you know, me to go on a Disney holiday and stuff. It just hasn't been, you know, I haven't found those kind of vlogs as exciting and oh, it feels so nice to be back doing something Disney and it feels like there's going to be a lot more open to us very soon. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next part. Bye!